What is going on, Hive Warriors? It's your boy Edward V, and today we're going to talk about five must have habits for weight loss success. Sometimes people think it's just cut and dry, it's just black and white. Do this, get this result. But there are things that if you're not doing it, you're making the process near impossible. So I'm gonna break down those five things in this video. Stay tuned. All right, I wanna thank the sponsor of this video, my favorite protein bar, hands down. Built Bar. I can't stress enough that protein bars absolutely taste like chalk. I don't know why they do this. But Built Bar, I mean, th to them, it was a no-brainer. How about we take this thing that tastes like chalk and make it actually taste good and even create a different consistency altogether, a more fudge-like consistency than that rocky chalkiness that you get from most protein bars. Tastes good, great consistency, and provides you a daily source of protein. Built Bar is where it's at, man. If you haven't picked this up, I don't know what you're doing. My favorite flavor is cookies and cream, but there's so many different flavors that you can choose from. Pick yours. Stick to it. Point blank, there's no other better protein bar that exists in the market. You can click on the link down in the description, and if you put the promo code FLEDGE10, you get 10% off your entire order. Now let's go ahead and jump right into the video. Number one is sleeping. People wanna tell you, well, sleep longer. That, which is true, but there actually is a grace period where if you go too long, it's actually detrimental to you, and if you go way too short, it's definitely detrimental for you. So what's the reason why sleeping helps you uh, lose weight? Well, if you get a good enough sleep, studies have shown that what ends up happening is that your leptin sensitivity is higher. And leptin is a hormone that tells your brain that you're full when you're eating. So if you're eating, and your brain is lagging behind because of leptin to tell you that you're full, you may easily overeat. And by the time you are aware, you're so stuffed, you feel like you're about to vomit or explode because your brain wasn't quick enough to tell you that you are full. When you, have, when you increase your leptin, when you increase leptin secretion by doing things like sleeping for a good amount of time, your brain is more adequately fit to tell you, hey, stop eating, you're full now. But what's the secret number? Well, seven to eight hours. Studies shown people doing less than that still increase their weights. Studies show people doing up to 10 hours also increase their weight. The seven to eight hour mark is the grace period or the little time window where it's most beneficial for you. Now let's go ahead and move on to number two, eating more at home and being more mindful of what you're eating. That encompasses everything. That's calorie intake, macronutrient intake, and just knowing exactly how much is inside of your food. Of course, it's always never an exact science. We don't know exactly how much calories are in certain foods, but if you do take out and if you're eating out, you 100% don't even know within the ballpark of how much calories you're actually eating. That number is a near laughable reference that you see on the menu. It can be two times, three times the amount of what you see there because everything is being cooked in bulk with massive, with massive amounts of oils being used, which are fats that have a higher calorie count per gram, so that can easily increase your calories while you're eating. So I would 100% recommend that not only you eat at home, but that you are aware of the things that you're eating. If you do those two things, you will increase exponentially your ability to lose weight and be successful because a lot of people really they miss this piece of the puzzle thinking that they could probably just do intermittent fasting and they'll be okay keto and they'll be okay and it doesn't matter how they eat but it still matters because if you are overeating you're going to gain weight no matter what you do now let's go ahead and move on to number three do not weigh yourself every day now this is always the controversial one you will always find people out there saying that the habit should be to weigh yourself every day. So that's why I had to make the habit to not weigh yourself every day. Stop weighing yourself every day. You can create a uh, chart, a steady chart of weight loss with weighing yourself once a week. Pick any day of the week, Friday, 
Weigh yourself every single Friday, map that down, and look at your weight decrease. The problem with weighing yourself every day is that as much as we all want to be these logical robotic scientists that really don't you know, get offended or emotionally attached to anything that they see, we can't help ourselves. If we look at the scale and Monday you lost a pound, Tuesday you lost a pound, but then Wednesday you gained three pounds, and then Thursday you lost a pound, but now you're still back to square one, and then Friday you lost one pound. So now essentially for the entire week, you lost one pound. If you just looked at Friday and saw that there was a one pound difference in your favor, you're much more, you will feel much more comfortable than to have to see this back and forth going up and going down system. If you're doing what you're supposed to be doing, every Friday, you're going to start to see a downtrend. But if you do it every single day, it will drive you nuts emotionally and it'll make it really hard for you to stick to it. So do not, please, do not weigh yourself every day. Weigh yourself bare minimum once a week. Pick a day, pick a time, and always weigh yourself during that time. Pro tip, best time to do it is when you wake up in the morning after using the bathroom before you eat anything. Now let's go ahead and move on to number four. And number four bounces off of number three because this is actually a much more direct and telling data point than is the scale that contains so many different variables in terms of water fluctuation, glycogen buildup, etc. This actually gives you a visual representation of body fat loss or gain. Take a picture every time you weigh yourself, take a picture and take a video or take multiple pictures and take a video of you, of your body every time. And every time you get into a new month, take a look at the video you did four weeks ago and look at the massive difference because we're constantly changing incrementally in front of our eyes looking at the mirror it's right below the just noticeable difference so you have to do something to shake that to be able to see the polarizing effect of weight loss visually so you have to take pictures you have to be you have to create that data so that you can look so that you can look at it, you can look at the one from the week before, you can look at it and look at the one from the month before, and you will see that there is a change and that will keep you motivated no matter what that scale tells you. And number five, clear, cut, and dry, I always gotta throw this in, exercise. If you don't do it, you're not gonna get the most out of your weight loss. You're not gonna get the most out of building muscle with resistance training. Lean mass is the primary driver for your metabolic rate, and guess what happens when you reduce weight? Your metabolism automatically drops to compensate for that weight loss because you're not as heavy, because your body's trying to be efficient with energy expenditure. So how do you counteract that? build more muscle to increase your lean mass and subsequently continue to drive forward your metabolic rate. And also cardio is incredibly essential. If you can build a good cardiovascular health that helps with your appetite, that helps with your energy expenditure, that helps create insulin sensitivity, which also helps you with weight loss, it's just an all around good thing if you have resistance training and cardio in your repertoire. Hopefully these habits are very helpful for you. If you haven't done them, I definitely recommend to apply them so that you can be consistent and successful with your weight loss. Of course, I wanna thank my patrons for my Patreon. I'm gonna go ahead and put their names right up.